Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build AI agents using Gemini 2.0 completely for free. So first thing you wanna do is go over to NA10, get your free trial for two weeks. And then also from there, you're gonna grab a free API key. Now, the way to do that is you are going to go to aiqcom then you're gonna to go to get API key. From here, you're gonna click on create API key, and this is completely free, and you can just click create an API key, right? Once you've done that, you can actually plug that into an AI agent workflow like you can see inside NA10. Now I'll give you access to all of the tutorials and templates from today inside the AI Profit Boardroom. But essentially what you can see here is we've got an AI agent ready to go, plugged in. We've tested, are you working? It is working, it's beautiful, it's easy, and it's very simple to create these one-click AI agents for free. Let me show you exactly how we set it up, step-by-step, step, delete that, we'll start from scratch, just for you people at home watching. We're gonna click on add a new step now, and inside the AI workflow, you want to make sure that you have AI agents set up, right? Or what you can also do is just add a first step. And if you want to trigger the workflow with a chat trigger, so for example, when you chat to your AI, then you can easily do that using this method right here. So what you can see is you're building out an agentic workflow and it's really simple and easy inside NA10 and you just click on AI agent, right? So you can connect different apps and automate a lot of different things using this autonomous AI agent, right? So if we click on AI agent, so it's gonna connect it over here. We've got the options. I'll come on to exactly how to set that up in a second, but essentially when a chat message is received, that will trigger the AI agent. And then inside the chat model over here, you wanna select Google, and we're gonna select Google Gemini chat model so that we can use the latest AI. Now, if you're wondering, okay, how do you connect the API that you got from Gemini sec inside here, right? So the way that you do that, create a new credential, and inside the Google Gemini account section here, you can leave the host as the default and then plug in your API key, which again, you get from AI Studio, click get API key, create API key, and then you can plug that in. Pretty simple as stuff. Now, the good thing is once it's set up inside NA10, you got your credentials saved, they're ready to go, you can select them anytime. Now, the important thing here is that you're not gonna use a default model selected. So it's gonna start off with Gemini 1.0 Pro. Obviously you don't want that. You wanna go for 2.0, and the latest model. So you can see here, we've got different dates on the releases. So if we look at the drop down, for example, we've got like 2.0 Flash Experimental, 2.0 Flash, which is great, but we want the ones that have just been updated on February the 5th. So for example, we've got Gemini 2.0 Flash Lite Preview and Gemini 2.0 Flash Lite Preview 5th of February. All right, so those are the two that you wanna focus on. So we'll go with this one for now, and that is ready to go and set up. If you wanna just test that it works, once you've added your API key and the chat trigger, then you can go inside the chat and just say, are you working? Just to double check, okay, is this actually working? Is it, have we got the AI system ready to go? And if it's set up correctly with the right API key and everything else, then we'll say, okay, yes, I'm working. I'm an AI and always ready to assist. Okay, all right, once we've done that, if you wanna just reset the workspace and zoom out a bit, then I press command zero, that just zooms me out and now we can zoom out and look at everything. Now. From here, what you can actually do is just connect tools. So you don't just have to set this up as a standalone chatbot. You can, for example, like connect different apps, different tools over here. And this is super useful because now the AI agent can take the data from whatever tools you connect, and then you can easily feed in that information. So let's say, for example, you want to create a AI content creator using Gemini. We can take this prompt right here that I use for creating content. I'm gonna plug that in to our AI agent. And inside the add option section down here, we're going to select a systems message. And instead of having the default, which is you are a helpful assistant, we're going to switch that now to create an SEO optimized article for this. Keyword equals the keyword I give you. We're going to test that step now. So if we go inside the chat and we'll say keyword equals what is SEO. Now I'm going to write that content for us, right? So you see here, we've got the whole article ready to go. And this is all customized to the prompt we plugged in earlier. So you can see it's actually created a full article. How long is that? That's a thousand words with one little prompt. We just give it the keyword and it does everything else. So it's like, why is this? And the content itself was written really nicely. But you can see here how you can optimize blog content, SEO content, Twitter content, whatever you want, even YouTube scripts you could easily do. And it's written it really nicely. As you can see, it's also formatted it super nicely. And we've got bullet points, we've got SEO optimized content. And here's the other thing as well. It's actually personalized all the content. And bear in mind, this is free, right? This is not costing you anything because you're using the free API from Google and you're using the free trial from NA10. And if you don't like it, then you can get rid of it after two weeks if it doesn't get you the ROI, right? And you get expert help. 
look, SEO can be complex. My agency has done this. If you want to join the SEO Lee Circle, go here. If you want to book in a call, go here. And if we click on that, it's created a personalized link to our funnels, right? So we've easily automated personalized content that's better than most humans can write, nicely formatted and ready to go into blog. And if we actually hide that chat now, we can select this to go out to a blog or a Shopify blog, right? So if we type in Shopify, you can connect this to your e-commerce store if you want to automate blog content, or if you want to automate content on WordPress, you can just click on WordPress right there. Let's have a look if it's got Webflow as well. I know a few people switched into that recently, including authority hackers saw that recently. So yeah, you can connect this to Webflow as well. And then you can just automate really high quality content personalized to you with all your internal links in and boom shakalak you've done it for free using the free api from google ai studio crazy stuff now if we type in wordpress over here we're going to click wordpress then we're going to click on create a post and from here we can select what we want to do so we can say resource post operation create title we can put as what is seo or whatever your keyword is and then inside the add field section here, you're going to add your content and you can add a slug as well. So I'm just going to delete slug for now because I don't want to manually fill it in. And then for the content itself, you can just grab the output like so. And what I'm actually going to do inside the AI agent as well is I'm going to say, write this as boom, right? And what that's going to do using the chat feature is just create super personalized content with internal links, nicely written for free in literally a minute and then send it over to WordPress. Super easy crazy how powerful this is right so let's just test this works all right i'm just gonna log into wordpress happy days and then we need to link the chat message to the ai agent that was unlinked a second ago i'm gonna go over to the chat i'm gonna refresh the chat just delete all that and we'll say okay keyword equals seo train in japan that's gonna write the content if we just lower that slightly so we can see what's happening so Basically, just to explain the workflow in case you're unsure what's going on here. Basically, we've taken the chat message, which is just plugging in our keyword. The AI agent, the SEO AI agent, is taking Google Gemini, taking our prompt, which is keyword equals, writing the content, and then creating a post over at WordPress. Now, if we go to WordPress, so we'll go into posts. We've got the title of the article we just created just here. And if we click on preview, boom, look at that. So easy, simple to do. How long did that take? Literally just one single prompt plus a keyword. We're ready to go off that. Super powerful and easy to do. And then it said to us, okay, SEO training in Japan, you guys crushing it in the Japanese market. And the content itself is super nicely written. Additionally, what it's done is it's actually linked to our funnel pages where we want to send traffic and get clients. And it's personalized all the content to us as well. Obviously, you would edit it before you publish it. This is just a draft, which is the beauty of this. So you would quality control it before you publish it. But you can create free AI SEO agents that can create blog content or create social media content. And you can do it using Gemini Pro, which is the latest model from Google. Absolutely amazing. So what we can also do here is if we move this over here, we'll move that over there. We'll move this over here. And what we're going to do from here is we're actually going to duplicate that AI agent. And I'm going to unlink this. So let's delete the link between the AI agent and that. And we're going to connect that to another AI agent, right? And so what this is doing now is we're going to have Google Gemini over here as well. Inside the Google Gemini chat model, we're going to select 2.0 and the February the 5th model. So the latest version of Gemini. And then we're going to say inside this AI agent, right? Which is totally different from this one. This one's going to be for writing content. And this one's going to be for actually coming up with keywords. And so I'm going to say inside this AI agent, when I ask you for a keyword, give me a keyword that's related to my niche. One single keyword, no other responses. All right. And what I'm looking for here is like long tail, localized, simple, e.g. SEO training in Japan, SEO training in London. All right. And you can plug this prompt in however you want. I'm just doing this for speed. Obviously, it's a YouTube video. We're not going to go too in-depth on that. But basically, what we're trying to do here is we're going to ask for a keyword that's going to run through the keyword agent. And I'm just going to rename this agent SEO keyword agent. We will rename that. And then inside this agent, this is actually going to be our SEO content writer agent, right? And so now we can automate 
the keyword, send that over to our content writer agent, and then send that over to WordPress in one smooth workflow. Now inside here, what you're going to do is you can execute the previous nodes. All right. So I'm going to click on play over here. Then we're going to open this up and we're going to take the output from the previous keyword agent and plug that into our SEO content writer agent. So if I take the output, we're going to take that and we'll plug it into the keyword section over here. All right. And so now every time this agent runs, I'm going to say, pick one keyword from this, use that to write the article. Okay. So now basically what it's going to do is it's going to pick one keyword from the outputs of our SEO keyword agent, and it's going to use that to write the article. So if we go back to the keyword agent, now we just need to really give it some clear instructions and exactly what it needs. So I'm going to put that inside the chat input, which is our prompt into the chat and say, based on this, when I ask you for a keyword, give me one single keyword that's relevant to my niche, one single keyword, no other keywords. This will be used for an AI agent to write an article. Okay. Long tail, localized, simple, GSEO training Japan, SEO training in London. And you can personalize this prompt to you, your niche, whatever. I want to show you how personalized you can make it. We'll say, okay, now SEO training Dubai. All right. We'll put examples of keywords equals this. Okay. So now we're going to test that step. And you can see here the output. So it's giving us an output here. And so if we go into our chat model, we'll refresh the chat. So reset the session. I'm just going to hit save on that as well. So we can save our progress. And if we run the whole workflow now, I'm going to run the chat. I'm going to say, okay, my niche equals SEO agency. And just going back to the SEO content writer agent. So if you want to edit that, click on that. You want to define, change the source for prompt from connected chat trigger mode to define below. And so now put keyword equals, and that's going to be the chat trigger for our SEO content writer agent. Right? So it's all linked together and now we're going to test it. So I'm going to say my niche equals SEO agency that's gone straight through the keyword agent lightning fast. Now it's writing the content and that should plug over to WordPress. So we'll just go back over to our posts inside WordPress now, and we've got the article ready to go. So let's click on preview and boom. Look at that, right? The AI picked out the article for us, the keyword. All we had to do was tell it our niche, right? And it did everything else. Now, if we go over to WordPress and the output here, now that we've got the keywords from the keyword node, we can actually plug those into the title because that's picking the keyword for us, which is the title. And also if we add the field here, we can select slug. And then inside the slug, we can also put the keyword from the AI agent. So if we just grab that, we'll plug that in. And if you understand what we're doing here, I'm flying through it because obviously it's a YouTube video and this could be like an hour long, but essentially what we're doing here is we are literally automating our whole SEO strategy, not just the content, not just the publishing, not just the keyword research. Literally all we need to do is just go, here's my niche. The AI agent will figure out the keyword. Then the AI agent will figure out the content and then it's going to send it to WordPress. So let's try that workflow again. I've already shown you it works, but I want to show you something else now. So we're going to click off that and we'll refresh the chat. So we've reset that. And then inside here, I can say, for example, okay, niche equals SEO agency. We'll head into, so that's feeding into the keyword agent. Now it's feeding into the content writer agent and boom, we've just sent that to WordPress. It's an NA10 is by far the best platform, the easiest platform to use. Once you get your head around that. I started using this like two weeks ago properly. I actually started testing out about a year and a half ago, couldn't get my head around it. And now it is absolutely amazing. So you can see here, we've got a nicely formatted article. It's all personalized to us. We didn't even have to think about the keyword that we were going for. And the AI has come up with the keyword, come up with the content, personalize it to us, send it to WordPress, create a draft. And that is absolutely amazing. Now this could be an infinite workflow, right? So. You don't just have to send this to WordPress. If you wanted, you could add another action in that. So if you click here, you can actually send this over to Twitter as well. And you could, for example, like create a tweet, right? And you can automate all your social media content, not just your SEO content. You could even, for example, like create a video script for that and then send that over to whatever your favorite AI video content creator is. But the main thing about this is you are creating an absolutely amazing workflow based on this AI agent. So what I'm actually going to do is I will take the workflow from today, the JSON file. And if you want to import that into NA10 yourself, so you can import the JSON. So then what I'll do is I'm going to plug this into the AI profit boardroom. If you go to SOPs, we'll add a new page, autonomous Gemini 
2.0 AI agents, and we'll call that Gemini 2.0 AI SEO agent likes. All right. And also what I'll do is I'll take the transcript from today, turn that into an SAP, and then you've got the SAP plus the template from today. Additionally, if you go inside the AI profit boardroom, because we're still building it out right now, for example, like Halima posted recently saying, I'm looking for assistance with designing the opt-in page, setting a blog and building up a website. And so what we actually did was I just created custom SAPs and tutorials for them directly here, right? So if you want to be a part of this community and you actually want something customized to you, I'm building out these AI agents completely for you for free to help you. And you can get all of that inside the AI profit boardroom. But normally you're paying agencies like, $2,000 to $5,000 to do that for you. We did it within 24 hours for Halima just to help her because we want to build the best AI community in the world. So feel free to join that link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to book that free SEO strategy session in. in this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building, answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly our ranking competitors and how to 10 SEO, SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.